What's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about why water, plastic bottles, and deodorant could be the death of your testosterone levels. Why is testosterone important? A quick run through. You want healthy testosterone and high testosterone levels for your sex drive, to be able to burn fat, build muscle, also to ward off depression, diseases like heart disease and prostate cancer. And essentially what testosterone does, it's your natural hormone that makes you better at being you. It increases your aptitude to, to take risks, some correlational studies that can help you make more money, help, help you be better with women and so forth. So basically, by having high testosterone levels, you're gonna be a better version of yourself. Now the problem is that testosterone has been on a steady decline over the past 30, 40 years as we have these unnatural things that are coming into our lives. Some of them increase our female hormones, which is estrogen. So we need estrogen, we just don't need help increasing estrogen. And that's what some of these chemicals are doing to our bodies and radiation are doing it to our bodies is they're making men have higher estrogen levels than they need. So what can this do? Well, this can create feminine features. Man boobs or bitch tits, whatever you wanna call them. Softer features of the face, thinner shoulders. You know, weakening the physique, inability to gain muscle, impotence and so forth. So we want to get rid of the chemical estrogens and the artificial estrogens from our lives. And three culprits that contain these estrogens are water, shampoo, and cooking oil. Now, in some studies, what they've actually found is that because of certain chemicals we're gonna talk, chemicals we're gonna talk about, they've ha found interchanging fish species. I'm gonna put this down below. They were men and then they became women. And this is because of chemicals. So this is very important. You might not turn into a woman, but you're gonna have feminine features. And what is really important, I think, is watching the kids. We don't wanna expose our kids to these chemicals. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to remove these chemicals from your life and from your family's life. So number one is water. We're not attacking water, we're attacking what it's usually contained in, and that is plastic. In one study they found that there was a 30% increase in estrogens in water that was in plastic bottles versus glass bottles. So that's where we find the harm with water. It's in the plastic bottles and it's called plastic leaching. That is, these, these chemical estrogens that are in the plastics leach into the water, you consume it, and then you get the downside to these increased estrogen levels. So one study says as follows. In an analysis of commercially viable mineral waters, the researchers found evidence of estrogenic compounds leaching out of the plastic packaging into the water. What's more, these chemicals are potent in vivo and result in an increased development of embryos in the New Zealand mud snail. These findings would show for the first time that substances leaching out of plastic food packaging materials act as functional estrogens. Now this was published in Springer's Journal of Environmental Science and Pollution Research. So many chemicals in plastics have been identified as xenoestrogens and antiandrogens. So not only do they increase your androgen receptor activity or your estrogen receptor activity and the estrogen in your body, but they diminish your testosterone levels at the very same time. So what can you do? What you can do is you can stay away from plastic. You don't wanna buy any water that's in a plastic bottle. There's glass bottle options. The best thing I found is to get a good filter. Obviously put it to your sink, make sure there's no plastic in that as well. But get a good filter, buy a Pellegrino or a, or a Gewurzamine or whatever those, those mineral waters are, drink the mineral water and then refill it in that bottle, which is glass. So you wanna stay away from plastics altogether. Now next is shaving cream, deodorant, shampoo, soap, all these health or self-care products or whatever you wanna call it. They're not cleaning products. Deodorant's not a cleaning product, it just makes you not smell like doo-doo. So all of these products that have become commonplace in our self-care industry or whatever you wanna call it, they have something or typically have something called a paraben. Now a paraben has show, been shown to increase estrogen. They usually have the prefixes of methyl, butyl, ethyl, propyl, heptyl, anything with these, I'll put a link down below. You really want to get rid of your cleaning products, any kind of soap that you use in your house, uh, your deodorant, your cologne, your shampoo. There are natural options for these, uh, but you wanna get rid of these chemicals that contain parabens and other chemicals like BPA and so forth that will increase estrogen. Again, it's the unnatural 
self-care products, the ones that are typically marketed and belong to big brands that are going to be harmful. And look out for parabens. Again, I'll put the list down below. So last is cooking oil. You want to stay away from cooking oil because it's very high in polyunsaturated fats, which has been shown to increase estrogen. And in a number of studies, I'll put some down in the description down below. So cooking oils, you want to stay away from any oil except for possibly, or well, butter is fine. A grass-fed butter is great for cooking. Olive oil is a good oil. You might not want to cook with it. Coconut oil is a good oil. Avocado oil is a good oil to cook with. But these other oils like canola oil are commonly used cooking oils. You want to stay away from because they have polyunsaturated fats. Fats are good. Polyunsaturated fats are not. And trans fats are not. Monounsaturated fats are great. Saturated fats are great. So if you hedge over to the saturated fat arena, it is olive oil and butter that would be the best for cooking. That's just a little tidbit into something that you gotta watch out for. And the main thing you gotta watch out for is when you eat out. You might be able to control it in your own house, but when you go out, they're gonna use the cheapest oil that may have the best taste effect on foods or whatever they can use in mass quantities. What they'll actually use a lot, and you'll find this in restaurants, is soybean oil. So soybean rapidly increases your estrogen levels and you want to stay away from that. The key is that you're not gonna remove all plastics from your life. You're not gonna avoid all cooking oils because you're gonna go out and you're gonna have dinner with your lady and so forth. You're not gonna avoid deodorants. You're not gonna avoid shampoos completely. Like these things are just a part of our existence everyday life. My desk is wood, but I've got a standing desk that's plastic. Plastics are all around us. These chemical estrogens all, are all around us, which is why I created something called Man Boost. Check it out right here. Man Boost has four powerful ingredients that block estrogen and flush it. So it's got resveratrol vesazorb, which is the most potent form of resveratrol. Normally it takes like five grams to absorb. This takes 200 milligrams. That helps block estrogen. Zinc picolinate, the highest form of zinc supplement that you can supplement with. Zinc blocks aromatase, which is the precursor to estrogen. That's where our body converts testosterone into estrogen and zinc helps block this. Boron helps boost testosterone. And there's something called IC3, which we actually have in the supplement that I'm pretty happy about. It's very expensive to supplement with, but we have it in the supplement in the full daily amount of 400 milligrams. And that allows you to release estrogen through your liver. So you're gonna flush out these chemical estrogens. So again, it's called Man Boost. Do what you can with the, the information I gave you in here, but also check out Man Boost, learn more about the ingredients, and I highly recommend you add that to your supplement routine. There's just not a lot out there that helps us block estrogen naturally, and this is one of them. All right, so that's Man Boost. Click the link down below to learn more about that. I'll put more about the chemicals down below as well, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.